this experiment, we will determine the molecular weight of the protein sample through electrophoresis. The weight can be determined by comparing the retention factor of the sample against the calibration graph of molecular weight versus retention factor of the standards. Thus, we require the following equipment and reagent. First, protein sample. Then, Lemel sample buffer containing SDS and mercaptal ethanol. Third, biosafe kumacistin, also the trace glycerin SDS buffer. The protein standard, ready gel cassette, and the electrophoresis unit. <laughs> Step 1. The protein sample is cut to a dimension of 0.1 inch for the width, breadth and thickness, which is then transferred into a label screw cap microtube. Step 2. 250 microliters of sodium dodecyl sulfate and mercaptal internal buffer was added to the microtube containing the sample. Then, flick the microtube 15 times with your finger to agitate the tissue in the sample buffer. Step 4. Incubate the fish samples for 5 minutes at room temperature to extract and solubilize the proteins. Thereafter, carefully pour the sample buffer containing the extracted proteins but not the solid fish piece into a newly labeled 1.5 ml screw cap tube. Then, transfer the newly labeled screw cap tube into a 95 degree water bath and incubate for 5 minutes to denature the proteins in preparation for electrophoresis. Meanwhile, remove a piece of ready gel cassette sandwich from the storage pouch and cut along the line at the bottom of the ready gel cassette to expose the bottom edge of the gel. This ready gel cassette is also the supporting medium for this experiment, which is polyacrylamide gel. Moving on, the electrode assembly of the inner chamber of the mini tank was removed and the gel cassette sandwich was placed into it with the short plate facing inwards. Place another ready gel cassette on the opposite side of the electrode assembly with notch on buffer dam facing inwards. Slide the setup into the clamping frame of the inner chamber and press down the electrode assembly while closing the two cam levers of the clamping frame to secure. Using a measuring cylinder, measure 450ml of distilled water and thereafter topping up with 50ml of the triglycerin SDS solution. This will form the electrophoresis buffer. Fill the upper buffer chamber of the mini tank with the electrophoresis buffer prepared earlier to the brim and then substitute the comb on the ready gel cassette with a loading guide. To prepare for the electrophoresis analysis of the protein sample, first, adjust the micro pipette to 30 microliters and load the same volume of kaleidoscope pristine standards into the first well. Then, load the sample solution prepared earlier into the remaining of the 8 wells with a space between the first and the third. Next, Fill up the lower buffer chamber of the mini tank with the remaining of the electrophoresis buffer. Subsequently, cover up the mini tank and connect the wires to the respective ports of a DC circuit generator. Run the gels for 15 minutes at a constant voltage of 200 volts. During analysis, bands will gradually form as the sample and standard move along the gel. After the analysis, turn off the power supply and disconnect the electrical lids. Discard the buffers and remove the gels from the gel cassette sandwich by separating them gently. Transfer the gel onto a staining plate and pour biosafe Kumasi stain into the plate. Remove the other side of the cover and stain overnight to see the colorless bands of the sample. The molecular weight of the protein samples can then be determined from the calibration graph of the molecular weights against retention factors of the standard. Mm -hmm.